one nation uh, out of many one. Uh, and uh, one of the things that unites us is, in fact, uh, the language. Uh, so it, it, it is actually a much more compassionate thing to do for all citizens of this great nation uh, to have English as the official language because it allows individuals to assimilate together in every single activity. So uh, something that would be wonderfully supportive of, of moving us forward in a more positive direction, in a more unified direction, and frankly, in a stronger direction would be to make certain that English is the official language. H.R. 1588 is the Common Sense English Act that, that I uh, uh, sponsored uh, and authored. Uh, because right now, amazingly, our government punishes employers who require their employees to speak English on the job which doesn't make any sense at all. You can imagine uh, situations where it could actually be harmful to not just the job, but to individuals in a safety setting. Uh, in a hospital, for example, in a, in, as a physician, your healthcare uh, is, is so challenging. And when those crises occur, uh, if an employer can't require individuals to communicate in the same language, uh, then uh, goodness knows we're putting people's lives at stake. And so, it's not just a unifying act, it's not just because we want, to, we want individuals uh, to, to speak English for no reason at all. Uh, it's because employers have to be able to make certain that they maximize the ability of their businesses uh, to do the jobs that they're charged with doing. And, uh, and, uh, so the Common Sense English Act just makes it so that employers are able to require English to be spoken on the job. Bilingual ballots never made any sense to me at all. Um, when individuals come to our country and, and become citizens after a period of time, they have to take a, an exam. And it's a fairly rigorous exam, and the exam is in English. And, and so not to make certain that all of our ballots, the way that we choose our leaders, uh, are in English, has just never made any sense to me. It was like government that decided uh, that, it, that it wanted to, to do something once again that was counter to the goal that we want, which was a, is a unified and, and, and productive uh, uh, nation, again, out of, out of uh, many one. Uh, so to have bilingual ballots not, is not only um, not being uh, fair to the country, it's being destructive to that unity, but also makes it uh, so that individuals uh, aren't necessarily incentivized to do the kinds of things that they need to do to assimilate into our, our great society and, and contribute in, uh, in wonderful and fundamental ways.